Hello, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions. And today what I was hoping to do was cover with you from a high level how a mixed language environment can work um, underneath Net Cobol for Windows. In this particular case, we're going to use VB6 to call a Net Cobol for Windows project. In a prior tutorial, um, I showed you how you can build the DLL and go through the project manager. If you have not seen that tutorial and you need that information, it's probably good to go back and view that one. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and continue um, with our explanation of how to use VB6 and NetCobol for Windows in order to be able to animate through our code. Um, just a little bit of background in case you don't have it already. Um, in order to be able to call your programs uh, from VB6, you need to load the Fujitsu runtimes. The Fujitsu runtimes are named JMPCINT2 and JMPCINT3, respectively. Two starts your runtime environment and three ends it. In this particular case, we have them getting loaded up when the form loads and again when the form unloads. Um, you can load them and unload them as you need to. The COBOL from VB is the routine that we're going to call that was part of our prior tutorial. Um, just as a reference, here was our COBOL from VB6 project and we named our DLL COBOL from VB. And you'll notice that the corresponding name is declared up inside um, VB6. So not too bad, one winds up calling the other. So if we wanted to animate, uh, we need to turn the animation environment on. And in this particular case, I was animating earlier. And I'm going to come back over to here and specify project, debug. And in this case, I'm going to select the program that I wish to animate and in this particular case it's my VB6 project to call. I do this for two reasons. One is that if you ever wanted to just run a program and have it go right into the animator for your COBOL, you could do that from here. So click on open and we're now going to start up our VB6 program and I'm going to say animate. Notice I have a breakpoint set here and not to really worry about what the program is doing too much. I'm going to slide this down. It's basically just passing two numbers into COBOL, multiplying them together and returning the value. So we'll go 4 times 5 and I'm going to press the equal which basically becomes this particular command, command 1 and then we're going to go ahead and step through our program. So we'll step and then debug, step, debug, step, and debug, step, and then one more debug step into, and you notice it comes right into the program. We can see what our variables were that were passed in, and not too bad. We'll issue the compute statement, and we'll step through that. and I'll exit the program, return back. In this particular case, um, we're simply going to press the run arrow and you'll notice that your answer is 20. And so animating through is really not too bad. It um, works out pretty well. And that's really about it. I want to clean up the screen so it'll take a second to end this video. If you have any questions at all, I can be reached at mmoser at alchemysolutions.com or matt, M-A-T-T -T underscore Moser, M-O-S-E-R, at mosersoft.com. Um, again, thank you for watching this tutorial. If we can help you out with any other tutorials or questions, um, please feel free to contact us. Have a great day.